This is a 25 milliliter pipette and it is used to measure exactly 25.00 milliliters of liquid. Before using this pipette to measure the volume of a liquid, it should be rinsed first with distilled water, then rinsed with the liquid. In this case, the liquid is hydrochloric acid. This is a pipette filler. Notice the button A, S, and E. Press button A and the filler bulb simultaneously to remove air. Make sure that the tip of the pipette is in the solution. Press button S to suck in the solution. Position your eyes to the same level as the graduated mark and release the S button when the lower meniscus of the solution is the same level as the graduated mark. Lift the pipette, keep your eyes on the tip of the pipette, transfer the pipette to the conical flask. It is okay if air bubble forms at the tip of the pipette while transferring, as long as the solution is not dripping. Press button E to expel the solution into the conical flask or gently disconnect the pipette filler from the pipette. Touch the tip of the pipette on the inner wall of the conical flask to discard the last drop. It is okay if there is still a small amount of liquid stuck at the tip. It is not counted in the measurement. So now, there is exactly 25.00 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in the conical flask. There are three common problems faced by students when using a pipette. Problem number one. When the solution reaches the pipette bulb, the level seems to increase very slowly. This is because the diameter is bigger. But sometimes, it is because the pipette filler has been re-inflated. What should be done? Press button A and the filler box simultaneously to remove air. Make sure the tip of the pipette touches the base of the vehicle while doing this. Then, continue as usual. Problem number two. Air bubbles are present in the pipette. Why? There are two possible reasons. Either the tip of the pipette is above the solution level or there is only a small amount of solution left in the beaker. So make sure the tip of the pipette is in the solution or add more solution into the beaker. Problem number 3. It is difficult to make the level of the solution the same as the graduated mark. It can be frustrating when this happens. How to overcome this? It is very difficult to adjust the level when it is very close to the mark. So just press button S to suck in the solution to a much higher level than the graduated mark. Keep calm. Press button E gently and steadily. See, the solution level goes down very slowly. Okay, let's predict when the lower meniscus will touch the graduated mark. Stop! There you go!